A single-engine Cessna plane coming down on a busy street in Orlando Friday afternoon, narrowly missing traffic. The pilot walking away from it all. It's miraculous that I survived. Uh, yes, there is skills and there is experience, but it was a lot of luck because a couple miles faster on my crash and I would have been shredded. Tonight, he's happy to be alive. I just said mayday, mayday, I'm going to die. And recovering from minor injuries from the terrible crash. Notice that I hit my head uh, and I didn't hit it very hard. I just got a little bit of a gash. For those watching from their cars on the road, it was a surreal moment, one that Raya Collins captured with her phone. All of a sudden it started to like drop and then that's when we were like, oh my God. Mayday, mayday, go down. The pilot, 40-year-old Remy Collin, telling NBC News he's responsible for the crash. I misjudged my fuel. I ran out of fuel, so I let it stall because it, it, it seemed like the best thing to do was to just fall straight out of the sky and doing so, I slowed the airplane down. The plane came down this very narrow stretch between the street and those power lines also missing the street lights and eventually crashing right here outside this property. The lucky pilot says he's cooperating with aviation authorities investigating the crash, revealing his plans to get back on a plane right after speaking to us. Why get back in the air so fast? Well, um, if I don't, I'll probably never will, <laughs> I think. No, and I'm not, I'm not scared. An aviation source says running out of fuel could result in a suspension of license, but today Colin is just happy to be able to get back up in the sky. Guad Venegas, NBC News, Orlando.